Hello everybody, this is Gusto and I have another review today. A Steve1989 sent me a care package that had some old items and a trekking burger. So what he sent me was a pound cake. I do not know the date, I can't figure out the date here, but uh, there's a 5 and a 2, so uh, 52 seems like a stretch, but maybe it is. We'll see. And then a B3 unit with crackers and candy listed, and this looks like a 78. And then, of course, a trekking burger from Germany. So, first things first, I'm going to put this in some boiling water so that it's well heated and, uh, I guess, as safe as it can be to eat. So, let's go do that. Alright, so while the burger is heating up, let's open up these cans. I'm going to start with the B3 unit, and again this is uh, 578. It says it contains crackers and candy, but we'll see. I'm using the Fred from my um, Australian ration. A little bit of a hiss when you open the can. There you go. The inside of the can looks pretty good. I've seen these uh, chocolate with toffee before in uh, some of the old long range patrol rations and uh, the foil is probably the cleanest that I've seen. And there's two of those in there. Again, the foil looks pretty clean. Nothing leaking out of it, doesn't smell bad. And we also have crackers. Four of them, salted, round crackers. They look pretty good. They smell a little bleachy, so they're probably pretty stale. They probably turned bad. But we'll try them anyway. And we've got uh, the chocolate disc. Again, this uh, smells all right. Wow, actually this is in really good shape for being so old. There's not a whole lot of blooming on the chocolate. Let me break that open. Can I see the cross section, the little bits of toffee in there? There's one right there. Next, let's open the pound cake. Now this one's pretty old, so again, I don't expect it to be any good, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, there's a pretty strong hiss when you open that one. Now this has oils and butter and all kinds of stuff in it, and uh, those oils do oxidize, and that's uh, that's that rancid flavor that that you get from old foods that have any kind of oils in them when they're exposed to air for any significant amount of time. Mm. It's pretty hard. It smells pretty sour. Eh, that's all right. We'll give it a try. There you go. There's the burger. Okay, so let's open that up, see what it looks like. It's pretty hot. Oh. <laughs> doesn't smell too bad. I mean, it does smell good, but it doesn't smell too bad. <laughs> there it is. Burger in a can. Steaming hot. So we gotta dig this thing out. I'm gonna use the Fred to dig it out. It, uh, things got a little hot in there, and I kind of burned, kind of scorched the bottom of the burger. Oh. <laughs> There's the bottom bun, it's stuck in there. Yuck. 
I don't think that's salvageable. It is burnt to a crisp. So we'll do the best we can with just the top of the bun. Let's get some close-ups. All right, so there is the burger without the bottom bun because I charred it. And there is the meat. It is like a wafer. <laughs> Looks like there's some pickles and ketchup underneath it. And then I know there's some cheese on the top of the bun there from other videos that I've seen. But it certainly doesn't look like it should, I guess. So there's the meat and the sauce and pickles. So without further ado, I guess we ought to just go ahead and jump into this. We're going to start with the trekking burger, of course, minus the bottom bun. Again, there it is. There's the meat. Then I think that's some cheese there and the condiments, including pickles and ketchup. I'm going to prove to you I'm eating it. Interesting. So the overwhelming flavor in that is uh, pickles and a bunch of ketchup. And that's probably a saving grace, if anything. The meat, it's more of a texture than a flavor. And it kind of feels like uh, just ground up and pressed beef jerky. If you could have a patty of like Slim Jims, that's what it would feel like. But it actually doesn't have much flavor. The bread actually adds nothing to that also. And um, I don't know, it's actually, for being canned, it's, it's not too horrible. I mean, it's kind of spongy, a little bit soggy because it was heated in the can. All right, let's try a cracker. Now, this is from the B3 unit from 1978. And like I said, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's kind of a saltine. You can see the salt crystals on the top of it there, and it looks really good. It's nice and crispy but uh, it actually has a distinctly bleachy scent to it. But we'll give it a shot. It's actually not bad. It doesn't taste bad at all. I was kind of expecting a MRE cracker that uh, the seal had broken or something like that. They just taste extremely foul. This tastes fine. That's uh, pretty remarkable. It tastes just fine. Nice and salty, crunchy. That's not bad at all. That cracker's older than me. I was born in 79. It actually tastes better than some of the recent MRE crackers. They're not salted anymore. They're very, very bland. Those actually taste just fine. All right. <clears throat> Chocolate with toffee. This one actually looks pretty good. It's not too oxidized. It doesn't have a lot of the fat and sugar bloom on it. Give that a try. A lot of these chocolates can look okay and initially taste okay but then you're overwhelmed with an extremely sour, bitter flavor that uh, that you can't get rid of for several minutes. It's really unpleasant. Let's give it a try. And remarkably, that tastes just fine as well. Wow. Old, old chocolate. This stuff can be really, really foul, but this is actually okay. I'll give it another shot. The chocolate's actually pretty smooth. It's got a crunch to it with those toffee pieces. That's actually pretty good. All right, now the pound cake. Now this thing's old and it smells very sour. It looks uh, really dry, very crumbly. You can see the kind of a shimmer of sugar crystals in there. I'm gonna try this, but I do not expect it to be any good at all. With the oils and butter and things like that that are used to make these, there's no way that something this old can survive any any kind of decent shape. And there you can see I broke it open, and it's just dense, hard, and brown on the inside. Ugh. I know that's going to be bad. It is just as sour as can be. Actually, it kind of smells like spoiled milk. Let's dig a chunk out of that and give it a shot. Okay. There's a piece, we'll give it a try. There's the texture up close. And it's not spongy at all, it is just hard. Let's give it a taste. A 
stale, a little bit sour, pretty sweet actually. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. There is that back of the throat kind of drying, um, yeah, all the inside of my mouth starting to dry up a little bit, and that's, that's what you get from eating rancid food, stuff where all the oils have oxidized, and you just get this really extremely bitter, dry flavor in your mouth, and it's horribly unpleasant. But I'm glad I tried it. <clears throat> I'm not going to eat any more of it, though. Ugh. And it takes a few minutes to get that flavor out of your mouth. Probably the worst that I had was a survival ration. And uh, it was one of my earlier reviews that I did, and it was uh, one that I did at work with a buddy of mine. And the fudge bar in there was horribly rancid and disgusting. And um, it took probably 45 minutes before that dry, sour flavor in my mouth was gone. Alright, so uh, that's that. Good review. Kind of fun to try out the Trekking Burger, even though I burned it. Surprisingly, the B3 unit was in great shape. Even from uh, 78, it was in fantastic shape. The chocolate is fine. The crackers tasted okay. They're, you know, they smelled a little bleachy. Uh, they were kind of old, but surprisingly, not bad. Scotsman 1984, I'm going to send you this extra chocolate. Hopefully it makes it there. I'm probably going to wait till winter so that it doesn't get uh, melted. I'm in Oklahoma, so it's still pretty hot, and I don't want it to uh, become awful. I'll vacuum pack it so it doesn't get any worse, because these will spoil pretty quick once you open them. So I'll vacuum pack it right now, <clears throat> and I'll send it to you in the near future. So, as always, uh, Steve1989, thank you for your support. Thank you for sending me all this stuff. This was a lot of fun to review. Kind of a interesting historical review here, and then uh, a fun item being the Trekking Burger. So thank you very much. And of course, as always, to all of the YouTube subscribers and viewers, thank you very, very much for your support as well. To my Facebook audience on Facebook Live during this review, thanks for joining me. I'm going to try to do this uh, fairly consistently, so join me if you can. My Facebook account is RC Gusto Ration Review, so head on over there and send me a request. So until next time, thank you very, very much. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.